welcome to my video I'm Jennifer Roberts you're catching me either on my YouTube channel True Divine 44 or my Facebook page True Divine 44 like share subscribe on either or both of those platforms is greatly appreciated and much love to everybody who's doing that thus far I'm really grateful for all of your support and um, all of your guidance a lot of you to help me grow what I'm trying to grow here so I appreciate you all. I'm putting out as much free content as I can, mainly via tarot, to help support, guide, and inspire the collective. That is, if you want to be. I'm presuming if you're here, you do. Um, I put out daily energy reads. I put out monthly tarot readings. Um, I just want to expand a little bit into just talks, just my inner knowings, my inner thoughts. Um, but we'll see how time goes with that. But when I do the tarot readings, I'm picking up on the collective energies, so they are general. So you have to then be discerning as to what resonates with you within my readings and what doesn't. Take what helps, take what guides and inspires and leave the rest behind for somebody else. It's no good trying to bend readings to your will, you just don't get the truth behind them. You, they don't have that impact in your life and sometimes you can bring something on just by bending it to your will to fit your circumstances by that intent you sort of bring in circumstances on so it's important that you do be discerning with tarot readings so you can book me for a private tarot reading also um that supports me and it supports you where they're much more in depth much more personal and answer your specific questions uh, I do energy work also where I help you recognize the energy flow within your body, just like a secondary circulatory system to give you power. It helps with fears and anxieties. We can get rid of those blocks that block that energy flow and help you absorb the energy with intent that is around you all of the time, that is a gift from the universe that is ignored far too much. So you can book me for either one of those through FaceTime, Skype, WhatsApp, Zoom, whatever modem you use, I'll try and facilitate it at my end. So you can contact me with any of the details above or below for those, or you can message me on Facebook Messenger, just put in capitals the service that you want. So this is the 18th of April 2020, and this is one of the daily energy reads, just to help you be forewarned, forearmed, um, and for sure have a fantastic day because you can work around the energies that come up within the tarot reading. So for the 18th of April 2020, the first card is the Strength card, another major arcana. Now this card came up yesterday and I keep saying, but just for anybody that's come to this video that is new, um, because of this thing that's been going on right now, there's been a very um, focused focal point for us all to be... Uh, concentrated on so that's caused just you know a, a small range actually of reactions energy um towards that focus point that focal point so the tarot readings have actually it's, it's helped the tarot readings the general ones because they've been very much so impactful on a lot more people because a lot more people are affected by the very same energy that is in the air right now so the cards have been quite repetitive it's been like a rolling story um which is interesting and it's pretty cool because it gives you you know a little bit of a diary as to the energies and peaks and troughs that we've all gone through throughout this whole fiasco so the first card being the strength card for me speaks of if we think of the lion this ferocious lion who sometimes if he's not in his calmed state can pursue things that aren't good for him that can be a little bit impulsive because he's action-packed he's full of potentiality he's full of um fire you know and he wants to go forward but we have that balanced with this divine feminine energy who can tame this lion by just the touch of her hand so this for me always represents the divine masculine and the divine feminine within each and every one of us whether we're male or female we have that balance within us all um, and it's for us to attain balance within those two and use them um, to the best of our abilities to help us go forward in a way that is most optimum so there's this feeling today that that there is a frustration this 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 lion wants to get going again wants to get back at life again wants to have that action again wants to have that pursuit again wants to get back in that chase um but then again it's not quite time because this lion is used to being the king of his kingdom and there's this outside force that is washing down this control in various different ways day by day 
and this lion is getting frustrated with that now the, the divine masculine within is getting frustrated with that you know and that can cause some kind of anxiety it can cause a, a, that feeling of a, a disrupted feeling a, an, an uneasy feeling so it's for us to dig deep in the divine feminine if you're feeling that way today to help calm your spirit calm your heart calm your soul and realize that you know you are feeling your way through this as best you can um, and it's important, yes, to go forward with action and in pursuit of your goals, in pursuit of the life that you want to create. But to do that by being thoughtful, by being able to foresee and foreknow and foretell through this divine feminine energy the direction that you need and want to go in. So that it's for all of us today, which is difficult because there is this frustrated energy to balance out that and, and calm ourselves and be poised, ready for action and put those steps into play, but not quite chasing on the pursuit of the gazelle, if you like. You, you know, you're not quite ready to go on the hunt yet. Um, it speaks of this dangerous ferocity that this lion can have. And this divine feminine can tame and control that, but it's, it is difficult, especially when you have somebody poking and prodding or something, some outside force poking and prodding at you, controlling you, controlling this beast, this lion. Um, and sometimes that is in, with intent. It's to try and make you react in a certain way. It's to try and make you look bad. It's to try and allow further controls to be put in place over you because you're this ferocious, uncontrolled lion that's going to cause chaos everywhere you go. So that's where the danger is right now. We're in this sort of limbo period of um, this control on the outside of us all and, and the people feeling like this sort of watching and waiting, poised, but starting to get frustrated. So it's for us today to not be impulsive about anything, but to feel our way through and question our direction, question our pursuits today, um, to tame this lion. Because we need that ferocity, we need that potentiality, we need that fire. But at the same time, it has to be in a way that fuels us rather than burns us, if that makes sense. So for the second card, it is the Four of Swords, but it's in reverse. Now, the Four of Swords upright would speak to meditative practices, connecting with self, taking time to rest, taking time to just be. Reversed, it speaks to this feeling again of feeling disrupted, feeling a bit cross about the situation now. You know, you've had this time, you've had this time, hopefully you've used it wisely and you've learned even more how to connect with self and go within and have time just with self and to just be and rediscover who you are and, and what your goals, what this lion wants to pursue in the future. Um, because our lives before this we're so busy everything the day just ticked on by because you were getting everything done to try and fit everything in children work household uh, friends it was it was very busy we had this switch that went off and it was the shock to the system um now a lot of us have used this time and we've tried to extract everything pos positive that we possibly can so a lot of us have done this work to be really connecting with self really going within and this is where we're ready to start taking action and start plotting our lives the way we want them to, to roll out. But then there's a lot of people who haven't quite either had the knowledge or um, the impetus to use this time to, to go within. Um, a lot of people with children, which I can attest to, you know, it's actually been a bit more difficult to have that time to go within, to have that meditative practice because the routine is gone and the, the children are always around, which is fair and good. It is difficult, but it's fair and good. What you can do is extract the positive out of that. And like with my children, we've been doing energy work. We've been directing that energy around the bodies. So instead of just me connecting with self and using this time wisely, I've thought, right, okay, we can use this for the children. We can help them um, facilitate that energy and empower them for, for their pursuits, for their goals. And so take that time, take that advice if you haven't been doing that already, um, because that can really 
it can help with behavior well it does help with behavior it helps the, the children feel more empowered and more in control of their emotions especially teenagers where new hormones are really kicking in and shaking things up for them it really does help that they have this extra tool in the tool belt that they know how to use um it helps them also discern energies energies that are around them that aren't really theirs so that instead of them being reactionary um like this lion could be they can they're able to discern that actually i'm just picking up that energy from that person that's not me it's i'm i'm, all, I'm okay and it helps them transmute that more so but this card in the reverse speaks of feeling disrupted and it, it speaks of feeling interrupted and this lion is feeling interrupted right now so is this divine feminine um you know they're wanting to move forward with their plans with their goals with their pursuits where in the upright they've had all this time to start thinking about but in the reverse there's still this disruption there's still this outside control mechanism that's squeezing down day by day um it speaks of isolation now it's on the upright it speaks of isolation isolation in a good way taking that time for self like i've just mentioned but this speaks of isolation obviously in the obvious that you know a lot of people have been isolated or being forced to be isolated a lot of people have felt isolated out of fear so it, it's that the separation from from others also um this feels like isolation for a lot of people that have found themselves on lockdown or in this um, event, you could call it, because it is an event, um, where they've felt that they were, they've, they've realized that they're not in the right circumstance, not with the right people. Now, this is a theme that's kept coming up, and this is part of us being able to extract something positive from what's going on right now, because it's helping us realign our pursuits, realign the, the direction we want to go in, and who we want around us to do that with. Um, the other thing this speaks of is avoiding, avoiding things that need to be dealt with, um, avoiding certain discussions certain arguments that need to be dealt with that shouldn't be left that sh that sh you shouldn't have this avoidance of it because actually that would feed this lion to do what you can do right now maybe you can't go out and go on the hunt and really hunt down that work or, or hunt down that business and really go out and do it so look at what you can do and maybe this lion could be fed a little bit by you starting to make those changes starting to have those discussions whether if you do feel like you're in the wrong circumstance around the wrong people um or indeed the right people to go forward with that and and start building on those new relationships where you realize you 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 are fed more you're nourished more you you have more um flow with these people so vice versa for both but you could defeat this lion with that action today which will help ease your frustration and ease your disrupted feeling um anything that this card does speak of as well that anything that isn't discussed dealt with or you start putting those plans in motion and taking the steps that you can take regardless of this outside control squeezing um it's going to come up in the future it's not going to go away they're going to stay there um things fester uh, when they stay there as well you know things can can get a lot worse if they fester obviously you know they stink they, they, there's bad feeling there's a bad taste in your mouth with them if you leave things and this card does speak of that whatever you leave you are going to have to deal with so maybe just feed that lion today and start dealing with it start having those discussions start having um plotting those those ways forward of how you want to go forward how you feel is best to go forward the sec the third card is the three of cups now this speaks of new friendship it speaks of celebration it speaks of community now one of the huge positives out of this whole event is that community has pulled together people have been connecting with the right people the people that feed them the people that nourish them new friends have come into others lives and it's felt good it's felt it's felt nourishing it speaks of growth and healing now through this whole process if you have done the work to take the positives out of it and work on self and get to know self and realign yourself again with your true path 
then it does speak of this accomplishment it speaks of you feeling accomplished in doing so and it gives that healing you know so the three stand in for accomplishment healing and connectedness so through that healing through that inner work through you taking the steps to feed this lion to do the inner work and stop avoiding issues and discussions and whatever else that may be to you you get this three you get this accomplishment this healing and this connectedness with the right people with the right things that help you on your path that feed you and make you feel alive that make you feel whole so it's a pretty awesome reading and there's quite a bit to balance out today and there's quite a bit to transmute today but if you're on it if you're doing it with intent and focus you could turn this into a very very positive day for you um in whatever direction that may be so the six of pentacles is on the bottom of the deck so that's if you think of that as the underlying underpinning energy and this six of pentacles has come up on so many readings on the daily energy reads in particular and it's always been in the upright uh, recently which speaks of generosity it speaks of community it speaks of reciprocity you know giving and taking in equal measures um in the reverse you know are you taking a little bit too much without giving is somebody taking from you too much whether that's energy money food whatever it is without giving back um if so then that speaks to realigning the, the people that you're around the people that you're with um and and not avoiding that issue starting off those discussions starting off those um plans or the, those little plots along the way of how you can get for, how you can get past this how you can go forward um because anything that isn't taken and given in equal measure is a drain it's a plug being pulled out it's it's energy it's physical matter being taken away and and eventually that has to stop because otherwise you, you zap yourself out you you exhaust yourself of of finances of energy of, of hope happiness you need you, so so you see it has to be in balance the scales have to balance all of the time so it's for you to turn that upright this time today and take note of the people who give to you as much as you give to them and it doesn't have to be the same thing going back and forward it could be you giving in um, material means and you receiving that energy and that um, gratitude back in equal measure so just balance that out a lot of balancing today but there is celebration there is connectedness there is healing and there is accomplishment so you can make this a really good good day so i hope that helped i hope that guided you and inspired you if you would like a reading just like i said at the top of this video get in touch any energy workout sessions Shall get I in touch on, like, press the button and press the subscribe button yeah. which is a thumbs up and theodore says shout out mammy's channel subscribe what else did you say tap the like button and press and press the bell symbol and press the bell symbol so you do that please thank you very much be balanced always and behold love and you, you exercise exercise